the main main rule is that players must remain blindfolded at all times while on the court. The court is like there's string underneath the tape that you see. Um, another rule is rolling the ball. Like the ball has to be on the ground by a certain spot on the court or else that's another penalty. Just so that way it's not like people throwing overhand and making it over the whole entire court. We had started a club at our high school about this. Um, we're both visually impaired, so we had a teacher who was helping us like develop maybe like transportation skills, learn braille, that sort of thing. He had um, mentioned it to us, and we thought it was a really cool sport once we got to play it. And we had started a club that's still going at our high school, and we just wanted to see if it could catch on at Purdue. You can't be afraid of a ball. That's the one thing that I've learned. Um, if you're a guy, wear a cup, um, protect your face, make sure it's tucked behind your arms. I, I can attest being hit in multiple places is not very fun, but you do what you gotta do. It's co-ed. Um, you can, you, as uh, women can play the sport just as easily as men can. I know that there's a men's national team and a women's national team for this sport. Um, no, so it's definitely open to both genders. And the ball is about the size of a basketball. It doesn't bounce nearly as much. It's a little bit heavier. Um, there's bells inside of it so that you can hear it. That's really the only way we could play this sport. Um, so if you're if you're practiced and maybe like on the men's national team, you can throw that silently. For people beginning. It's a lot harder to do, um, so it, obviously as you get more practice with the sport, the skill level progresses just higher and higher until you can have that ball down on the other end of the court and through the goal before they even know it's there. We're going to try and hold a like statewide tournament where teams from, say, the Indiana School for the Blind, from my high school, then maybe even have the men's national team come out and play an exhibition game just so you can see what top level play is like. But um, we're just, we're gonna keep trying to do this as much as we can actually support it. Uh, it's a blast. I've, I've started playing it my sophomore or junior year of um, high school, and I'm still loving it as a sophomore. I, I really want to spread the sport.